I can hear them, but I just can't see them. I've just been hearing my first cuckoo of the year. And you guys who follow my channel know what that means. For the last, I don't know whether it's been two, three years, I have been doing man versus cuckoo. And every year, guess what? Cuckoo's won. This year is going to be different. Man is going to beat cuckoo this year. I'm really going to try hard to get some decent images of the cuckoo. I mean, I've got images in the last few years, but never really what I wanted. Um, never those, you know, close-ish images. I mean, you're never going to get close to a cuckoo. Not unless you go and find a really tame one somewhere. But we're going to really give it a go and see if we can get as close as we can to a cuckoo and get some decent images. This could disrupt my channel completely. You know, I mean, I really want to focus on this. I really want to try hard with this. And I really apologise now if some of the regular videos don't come out as they were. But over this short period till the cuckoos leave, which is normally around, I guess, end of June time, um, I really want to focus on getting a, a decent image of these cuckoos. Now, I've heard them this morning. I've heard a couple around, I think. They're not very active at the moment, so they're not flying around. We're not seeing them much, but I've heard them. So hopefully, you know, as they get more active over the next few weeks, we might catch some decent glimpses of the cuckoos. Quite a lot of woodpeckers around this morning, which is quite nice as well. Green woodpeckers flying around. So I'll bring you a few other bits as, we, as we're trying to find the cuckoos, obviously. But, yep, that's the challenge. Man versus cuckoo, 2022. And man is going to win, I tell you this time. I'm, I'm stoked. I'm really going to get this this time. I'm really going to try hard. So if you want to follow along, follow along. And hopefully, between us, we'll get these images of the cuckoo. I can hear them, but I just can't see them. I can hear the cuckoos. There's at least a couple around, I think, but you know, they just don't want to show themselves at the moment. Well, they don't want to be in the air I'm in, let's put it that way. Um, but it's early days. It's day one. This is going to be tough. This is going to be tough, I know. I've, I've done it every year, and it is tough. I've just got to be in the right place at the right time for that cuckoo to come close without seeing me. That's not asking much, is it? Come on. But, yep. Early days. No success so far. But we're not going to give up. Okay, so we've just had our first sighting of the cuckoo. I came around here and I could hear the cuckoo getting closer and closer. And this tree over here, I think you can see, if you see this tallish tree about there, um, the cuckoo was sitting up in that tree. Uh, so I, just, I didn't go any closer. I just fired off a couple of quick shots, proof to you guys that I've seen, uh, seen the cuckoo. Um, so I've got a couple of really distant shots to start off with. But then as I stood there and watched it, it flew out of the tree. And it flew out of the tree to the back, came all the way around here, 
landed right in the tree next to where I was standing. Now, there's the dilemma, what do you do? As soon as I move, I know that cuckoo's gonna be gone. But I really wanna get the shot. So what am I gonna do? It's early days, so I wanna play it safe. I'm not gonna go for the shot. So all I did, I turned the video on just to get some sound of the cuckoo as it's up in the tree. It was sitting right up in the top of the tree, right next to me. Um, the sound was absolutely amazing, absolutely brilliant. And then I didn't really move a lot, to be honest. Um, I just started to very gradually move the camera around. And as soon as I did that, it took off. I don't know if it took off because of me or whether it was just going to take off anyway. It took off, flew across the fields, and I got a couple of very, again, very distant shots of it flying off from me. Um, and that was about it. So, yeah, we've seen the cuckoo. That's a good start. We heard the cuckoo, we've seen the cuckoo. We've got some distant shots. We've just got to keep improving on that now and see what else we can get. Gone quiet at the moment, I can't hear it anywhere. So I'm just gonna have a little walk and just see if it's moved to a different area. But hopefully, I mean, this is my idea, is if, it, if we know it's coming to this area, hopefully it's gonna set up a territory here. And hopefully if I can just wait it out and just wait for it to come into the area, and then we can get the shots. We, we need to understand over, so this is gonna take days, weeks, just to understand where it's going, what it's doing, what its behavior is. And then when we can understand which perch it's using, where it's landing, and hopefully it's gonna come back to those perches, then we can be in the right place at the right time, camouflaged out, just to make sure it's not gonna see us. And I'm looking forward to hopefully getting those shots. We wanna try and get it lower down. We don't want it up in the trees where the sky is in the background boring background we don't want that we want to try somehow to get it at a lower level so you know I'm hoping maybe it land on one of the pet uh, one of the fence posts or something like that I don't know um, we might put one or two mealworms out and just see if we can attract it down a little bit but yeah we've seen our first cuckoo 2022 here we go Well, I'm not going to keep count of the days because I'm just going to lose track. You know, it's already day three, four, maybe even five, I don't know. Some days we're finding something, some days we're absolutely finding nothing. Um, again, this morning, I can hear them. They're just all around me, but they're actually, sounds like today, they're actually further over by the actual reserve, whereas I've come out into the field um, where they're normally around this area at the back of here. Um, but I can actually hear at least one over towards the main reserve. I did see as I walked up, I saw one um, do a fly across, but, but uh, too far away really. Um, so, so they have been around this area. So again, it's just patience, you know, it's just, um, just staking out a few different areas, just staking out a few different trees. We, we're coming in, we come back to the tree where uh, a few days ago we had um, we had the cuckoo land right up in the tree by the side of me um, and we could hear it but I couldn't you know I couldn't move the camera around to get a decent image of it so uh, so yeah so we've come back around that area it's quite bright sunny today um, it's getting late now I mean it's getting towards 10 to 9 already so um, and the sun's quite it's a beautiful day I mean the sun's up it's a beautiful day that's a pigeon and that, that's one of the problems I have from a distance I can't tell whether it's a pigeon or a cuckoo um, you should be able to tell by the flight I mean they do fly differently um, and I should be able to tell that by now but I still struggle sometimes um, but yeah it is a nice day there's a little bit of high cloud which would be nice if that just came over just to diffuse the light a little bit and give us a bit longer before the light gets really harsh which it's already starting to do to be honest but um, Can hear it again it's over there it's over there it's over towards the reserve we need to come it this way so uh, yeah 
but I'm not going to go chasing it. I'm just going to stake out this area. You know, I've got a couple of hours. Um, I'm just going to see if it turns up. So we've gone for a change of tactic today. I mean, we've been hunting around out where the fields are, where the cuckoos are normally flying around, and they, they are out there, but really struggling to track them down properly. Um, but yesterday, uh, while I was out that way, um, they were actually flying around the main reserve down here. Uh, and a couple of people got some decent shots of actually on the reserve. So I thought, the weather looks a bit mixed today, not sure whether there's some thundery showers coming in. So I thought, change the tactics, we'll come down on the uh, on the reserve, sit in the hide, and see if we can see anything from here. Uh, and as we pulled up, a cuckoo came across and just perched up in one of the trees. Um, just didn't stay very long. Um, but I can hear them out the back somewhere. So, you know, I'm not really sure how we're going to do this, because there's not many perching places from here. We might have to have a little walk around. Um, but you know what I'm hoping to start off with maybe they're just going to fly by um, I saw some good fly shots yesterday um, so that's my hope is they're going to come across from the trees on the far side trees this side and then as they come across maybe we can get some decent shots they might come quite close for us so that's the hope I say I can just about hear one at the back at the moment not sure how far away it is but yeah got to try everything really haven't you Okay, so we've got our first decent encounter, I think, with the cuckoo. I, I need to check the images. Um, but I was actually, I was watching some monk shank deer over the far side, and I'd been hearing the cuckoos around the reserve, and all of a sudden I heard them really close. And I looked away from these deer and looked up, and they were right above the hide, flying around. There was two of them chasing each other. Um, the problem at that stage is I couldn't get, because of the restrictions of the window on the hide, I couldn't actually get the camera up. Fortunately, I'd taken the camera off the tripod because I think I need a bit of, I'm going to need some quick reaction today, so I didn't want it on the tripod restricting me, so I'd taken the camera off the tripod, but I still couldn't get high enough with the camera to actually see them. So I shot out of the back of the hide. I could hear the cuckoo somewhere out there, and it was stationary somewhere. I think it was in the trees out the back somewhere. And the next minute it flew down. Sorry, I thought it was more then. It flew down and uh, it just flew straight over my head. Um, no time to react really, just had to focus, shoot off a few shots, and then um, try and get the aperture a bit, because obviously against the bright sky, I just wanted to try and bring the cuckoo out a bit. So trying to overexpose a little bit, a couple of stops, one to two stops and fired off a few shots yeah but absolutely great right over my head that's the closest I've been to a cuckoo so far um, I'm not saying the images are going to be fantastic but I think it's a good start so we've got something in the bag I'm hoping as long as they're not blurred or just out of focus because it was all happening so quick you know I can't actually say whether I've got it in focus or not looking on the back of the camera it doesn't look too bad 
so hopefully um, you know we've got something in there so yeah that's good I can still hear them they've disappeared into the distance again now um, but gonna stick it out a bit longer and uh, and see if they reappear got really cold time yesterday was a beautiful day it was warm really warm really really sunny today overcast there's a wind blowing and it is pretty cold in here to be honest at the moment this morning I'm, I'm glad I put my coat on I wasn't gonna put my coat on but yeah so yeah so cuckoo watch let's see if we can get some more Well, we're still not there yet. We've got close today. That's probably the closest we've been so far, but we've still not got what we really want, I don't think. So, Man versus Cuckoo 2022 will continue. <laughs> 